Hey everybody, I'm 22 Tiger Dude. Welcome to my 500th video. In this 500th video, I'm gonna explain to you guys my film rating system. Movie reviewers, they like to use some kind of rating system to give their final thoughts on the film overall. Some like to use the letter grade system from A plus to an F. Some like to use the 10 out of 10 scale, 10 out of 10 to 1 out of 10, or 0 out of 10, depending if you like going lower. And there's also the 5 out of 5 scale. But me, I love to use the movie critic 4 out of 4 star rating. And I figured this would be a perfect time since some of you aren't quite sure what they mean. So, I'm going to start from lowest, and then I'm going to go to highest. 0 out of 4 stars means that this movie has to be a huge abomination. Like, this is an appalling film. It is the worst of the worst. This movie has to have absolutely no positives at all, no means of it at all, to get this rating from me. And I look very hard at positives. I'm not going to be biased and say, oh, there's nothing good about this film. You know, there, in my opinion, there has to be absolutely nothing good about this film. Uh, a particular film in order for that rating to happen. But I do look at the positives even if a film is bad. Next one is 0 0.5 out of 4 stars. Okay, this one means it's an abomination, it's horrendous, basically like 0 out of 4 stars. It's just very unwatchable, it angers you. 0 0.5 though would have to have maybe like a couple of little positives to earn a rating like that. But still, 0 0.5 is very, very horrendous, just like 0 out of 4 stars. 1 out of 4 stars means this movie is awful. This is a very awful movie, but it will have a few positives in there. 1.5 out of 4 stars means that this is a bad movie, it's uh, not good. So yeah, 1.5 out of 4 stars, bad movie. 2 out of 4 stars means this is an okay movie. It's not a terrible movie, it's not a good movie, it's just an okay, so-and-so, fair movie. It could be watchable, but it's a movie that's really nothing special. This is a rating where there has to be some positives and some weaknesses. Two and a half out of four stars means that this is an entertaining movie. It's not technically a good movie, but you know, it's a movie that's actually pretty entertaining. You could have I uh, still have a lot of fun with it, even if it may not be the best movie ever. So two and a half out of four stars is not a bad rating at all. So, you know, the movie has to be entertained to earn that rating for me. Three out of four stars. This means that this is a good movie. The movie is good. The movie is solid. I'll rewatch any movie that I'll give at least three out of four stars and above. But it has to earn that three out of four star rating for me in order to go back and revisit that film, you know? I'll revisit films I like, really like, and love. 3 out of 4 stars is a good rating overall, and yeah, it's a solid rating. It's good. 3.5 out of 4 stars, this movie is outstanding. It is almost perfect. It is just amazing. It's well written. 3.5 out of 4 stars is a really outstanding rating. And now, we go into the highest of the highest in the 4 out of 4 star rating system I use, which is 4 out of 4 stars. This movie is perfect. There's no flaws with it at all. It's just spectacular. It blows you away. You can just watch it over and over again. You know, it just means you love the film. This film is just great. It is amazing. There's something hugely special about it. And it has to have absolutely no flaws in order for me to give it that rating. And I'm careful in how I use it. Like, I don't give every movie out 4 out of 4 stars. It has to literally have no flaws. If it has a nitpick, it's fine. But, like, flaws-wise, it has to have absolutely no flaws in order for that 4 out of 4 star rating to happen for me. Since this is my 500 video, I wanted to... Do something special and involves a video response, you know, for fun. 
I want to know more about you guys, and I don't want to make it just about me, but since this is my big 500 video, 500, I want to know more about you guys, so this is something I want to call, I want to know about my subscribers. And so, I'll give you guys all the questions for you to veil response about, but let me go ahead and just tell you um, my response to each of the questions that I'm going to give you guys so you know something about me as well. Okay, this one is, uh, what's one of your favorite movie scores slash soundtrack? One of my favorite movie scores is the Jurassic Park theme. You gotta love that song. So beautiful. John Williams just did a phenomenal job composing music uh, for that movie. And man, I could listen to that theme over and over again. It just blows my mind every time and it gets better and better every time I hear it. What's one of your favorite Disney animated films? There's a lot of great Disney animated films, but personally one of my favorites is The Lion King and Tarzan. But if I have to go with maybe my all time, I'm gonna have to go with Tarzan. I freaking love Tarzan. I could watch that movie countless times. And I would still love the living hell out of it. It's got some of the greatest music I've ever heard. Phil Collins does a great, great job composing music for Tarzan. I love the song Son of Man or You Will Be In My Heart. I just love the songs. Animation is beautiful. I love Tarzan. Who is one of your favorite actors and actresses? One of my favorite actors is definitely Tom Hanks. He is just such a great actor. There's a lot of great actors out there, but I I don't want to waste your time with the long list. But one of them is definitely Tom Hanks. One of my favorite actresses is definitely Amy Adams. She's beautiful, but she's also very talented, and I think she does a really good job overall. Jennifer Lawrence is actually starting to become one of my favorite actresses as well as Emma Stone, so we have a lot of great actresses out there. What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Applebee's. I love Applebee's. I love the food they serve there. I love the mozzarella sticks they have. The only restaurant where I could get coconut tea as well. I really enjoy their coconut tea. But that's my favorite place to definitely go out and eat at. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas because, you know, it's where you're with your family. And it's basically a holiday where everyone is together. And it's just a very nice and special holiday to me. It just brings joy, laughter, and it just has me wishing every day was Christmas, you know. Um, what made you get into films? Well, of course, when I was a little kid, I would be watching animated films. But as I got older, I think around when I turned 13 years old, that's when I started to understand the meaning of films. Like, I started getting into watching more of the violent films, you know, films I was too scared to watch when I was young. And my mom, she would introduce me to all these classic films, so I actually have to thank my mom for getting me into uh, films because she would introduce me to all these films, like... She introduced me to that Matthew McConaughey film, uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I actually really like that film, and um, I have to her to thank. She's also introduced me to classics, like, She's the Reason, I've Seen Sing in the Rain. I actually watched that when I was 10 years old, but ever since then, I love Sing in the Rain. It's one of my favorite classic movies ever, and my mom's just introduced a lot of movies to me, so I really do have to thank her because... She's really the reason why I'm getting more and more into films. So. When my family came down here during the summer, as my birthday present, they gave me this Build a SpongeBob. They actually went to a Build a Bear uh, shop and they built this for me. They built SpongeBob and they got all this pirate uniform for him. I was absolutely loving it. And uh, it was just an awesome birthday gift. I forgot to show some of my birthday vlog and my birthday vlog, so why not show it now? But this is my birthday gift, and I just love it so much. Okay. What's your favorite drink? Well, I love to drink tea. I love to drink lemonade, even water. Water is very refreshing for me to drink. But my favorite drink of all time, I gotta say, is my is this Mexican drink called horchata. I just think it's very delicious and 
oh my gosh, I just, just enjoyed the living hell of it. And by the way, when I reached to 100 videos, I actually made a video called How to Make Orchata. And if you guys never tried Orchata and you want to know how to make it, go to my 100 video called How to Make Orchata. I will show you what ingredients you need and I will show you how to make it. It's very helpful, at least I hope so. What are your favorite bands? My favorite band is ACDC. I love ACDC songs. They're highly addicting to me, actually. I love to listen to Guns N' Roses. You know, mainly the 80s band. I love to listen to Journey, Linkin Park. There's a lot of great bands for me out there. My favorite country band is Rascal Flatts. My favorite superhero, Batman. If you guys saw my Ben Affleck on Batman video, I was dressed up as Batman. Uh, and my Pirates 5 getting the title video, I made a cameo as Batman as well. As well as making a video response to John Flickster's uh, Q&A video. What's one of your favorite TV shows? Okay, TV shows, Everybody Loves Raymond, George Lopez, The King of Queens. I mainly love to watch television for sitcoms and uh, cartoons to be honest. You know, I'm not too big on the whole crime drama shows. Like when it comes to shows, I don't know, I'm not too big on that. Like, I do watch Elementary. I really enjoy Elementary. I watch the show Arrow, and I do watch the FX show The Bridge. But other than that, I mainly do watch television uh, for TV shows and cartoons. My favorite cartoons are SpongeBob SquarePants. I love to watch regular show. I love to watch Tough Puppy. I love to watch the old cartoons as well. Like I love watching Yogi Bear. I love to watch the Pink Panther, the Flintstones. What's your favorite animal? I can't believe that was even a question. <laughs> but obviously, I got the name 22 Tiger Dude for a reason. My favorite animals are tigers. I just think they're beautiful creatures. I know they're dangerous. I'm not going to get near one. But I mean, they're beautiful creatures to look at. And I love the orange on them, the stripes. Everyone would call me Tony the Tiger back from elementary to high school. Which was pretty cool. <laughs> Who is your favorite movie director? I think Steven Spielberg's a great director. I think Peter Jackson's a great director. Christopher Nolan, he's a great director as well. Like, yeah, there's a lot of great directors out there. It's hard for me to choose a list, but those are some of my favorite directors personally. Who is your favorite music composer for films? Hans Zimmer and John Williams. There's a lot of great music composers for films, but if I had to choose my absolute favorites, it's a tie with Hans Zimmer and John Williams. Those two are, like, music geniuses. And then last... What's your favorite DreamWorks animation film? Well, I actually have more than one. I love Shrek 2. That's my favorite of the Shrek franchise, by the way. I love all three of the Madagascar films. The Madagascar films are just hilarious and well-made animation films, in my opinion. I love all three of them. I love Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2. And I also love The Croods. So for video response, you guys, if you guys have a camera, I want to know more about you guys, so please try to make it a video response. If you don't have a camera, then go ahead and just comment below all of these following questions I'm about to give you. I really do want to know more about you guys, so I will watch every single one of your video responses as well as commenting on it and liking it. So make sure you have something written down or just watch this video to help you out. Here are the questions to do a video response on. What's one of your favorite movie scores slash soundtrack? What's one of your favorite Disney animated films? Who is one of your favorite actors and actresses? What's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite holiday? What made you get into films? Who is one of your favorite cartoon characters? What's your favorite drink? What are your favorite bands? Who's your favorite superhero? What's one of your favorite TV shows slash cartoons? What is your favorite animal? Who is your favorite movie director? Who is your favorite music composer for films? And what's your favorite DreamWorks animation film? Thanks for watching my 500 video. Thanks for helping me reach to that many videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!